Hello world, I am What If Study, and today we are continu continuing, uh, What If Deku was, What If one Class 1A was Isekai, sorry. Deku, coursing throughout the seas, he rides upon the Kraken, as it was forced to do so. Deku, ha um, the Kraken had gained I mean, he had gained the Kraken's respect for the smart play. However, the Kraken is sort of salty for having to serve him. It says that he'll do him this one favor, and then it'll be gone after that. Um, however, the, the Kraken just ends up dumping him on the way anyways, just to be an asshole. Deku, though, finds out that he is actually very, very fast. His, ten his black tentacles that um, exuded from his suit... Um, just basically zoomed across the floor of, uh, of any sea. Uh, on land, however, he's not as fast. However, he's still supersonic about. Um, Deku, though, uh, says that, you know, he's not even going to use this much power. He converts it into IQ. He converts his strength into IQ. He now has a collective IQ of 213. Um, his abilities uh, allow him to um, ca cast minor illusions, which he uses to great effect. Uh, deadly so. He also has a new status effect of Demon King. Uh, he can be next in line for Demon King, which worries him. It also gives him uh, supreme authority, whichever that, whatever that means. Um, he also has the ability to basically uh, mind control people. And... Uh, once he basically gets a nice hold on them. Um, and he's also has the title of King of Atlantis. He has great strength and, and supreme speed. However, that's nothing against almost every single enemy that it goes up against. His level now equals that of 50. Um, when he ro washes among the sands of the shore, he scouts out the place instant, instantaneously. You know, he just like takes out once, instantly knows every single ins and outs of the island. Um, he walks in, you know, uh, disguising himself uh, among the populace. Uh, as one of his things is minor illusion, he cloaks himself with um, to look like an average person. Just a young boy, I guess. Uh, however, he, he must be uh, very cautious about his standing, because... Many people would actually bump into him when he was invisible. So, Deku goes along the populace. Fi um, fi going into multiple bars, is he notices that every, uh, they're currently in a recession. Some sort of depression. A after all, the, the prices seemed a little bit too high. And uh, the people seem to be sm slower, dimmer than before. Um... He goes. Uh, he searches among the the bottom floor and finds a certain keyhole and just rips open the the bottom uh, quietly. However, he uh, he goes down into the under and uh, finds one of the guards instantly uh, um, putting his hand over his mouth and putting the tentacles into his mouth and taking control of his brain, um, stopping him from doing anything and disguising himself as that guard. He walks into the den as one of the one of the uh, captains, a particular dimwitted look looking man, and another one one that lo that has no eye, and he also uh, loves to gamble. Um, he can tell all this just by seeing people because he well again, IQ two hundred and thirteen. Um, he says, "I'm back from my report." I never asked you for a report, cadet. Cadet, that means that they're that they have like an academy here. Cadet? I thought I was an admiral. <laughs> Don't joke with me. Uh, as then the other one's like, why I quite like I like quite like that. Kid. Come, play play some uh, gambling. Uh, play some gambling with us. He's like, oh, I really shouldn't. No, no, I, I, I insist. The other one says, Ugh, fine. He'll just be here for the meeting. We're planning an assassination on the, on the final guy. Um, one of them was like, hey kid, get me a drink. 
all the rest of them are are uh, all, uh, all eight of the other uh, rebel re rebel leaders are going to come in here. You need to get you need to get yourself situated. Get yourself a suit for God's sakes. As he's like, of course. <laughs> the guy's like, the hell? He's never he's never been so obedient. Well, damn. Because I'm just such a good captain. You know, De um, Deku goes off to the kitchen and places small, you know, uh, uh, what would you call those? There's no particular name for octopus babies, are, are there? No, just basically mind, uh, mind flayer babies inside of their drinks. As then he starts, uh, talking to the rest of the, of the cast of people. Uh, Deku serves the, um, all eight of the warlords that are all under the command of, uh, the great, uh, fiery one. The ashen one, they call him. Um, basically, all eight of these guys are warlords that just see him unfit to sit on the throne. They're all planning an assassination tonight. That's the least that we need to know. Um, Deku, however, starts to control their minds ever so slightly just to change their uh, objectives just a little bit so that they're more organized. You know, give them specific orders and allow him to be on the front line. As he says, I, I think you'd be best if I spearheaded this. As one of them's like, what is he talking about? As all the rest are like, mm, yes, good idea. As he's like, what the? And Deku just like chops him on the back of the neck. He's like, you saw nothing. And they're all like, oh, yes, of course, we saw nothing. He's like, good. This is going well. Seems that he had a resistance to, to the mind control. Interesting. He keeps him locked up in, in the brig as um, they all go off that night to assassinate Endeavor. Uh, they're in a more regal setting, so it's it, it, they're sort of in these plast, uh, stone walls. However, Deku listens behind one of those in the sauna where Ende uh, the... You know, the Ashen One is talking to um, the greatest hero throughout the land, whoever that may be, because Deku doesn't know who he is. But he does, his voice booms like some person that he knew before. He had long forgotten what it was like to have such a nice, uh, warm voice around. He was surrounded mostly by animals having to fight his way. And now he was going to assassinate a guy he barely even met. But if it protects this world, he'll have to. He um he can he now also gained before the the power to control um to control those who he has mind controlled. Not only will they fight for him, but he can also tell them stuff from long range, telecommunication. Um. His um he starts to spread his tentacles throughout the room. And aim a tentacle right at the back of whoever this ashen one may be. Until he hears, <laughs> you, you clearly are the greatest in the land, all might. He's like, what? He stops his tentacle. As all of the other guys a aiming their crossbow, cross bolts straight at his head. He says, stop, stop, stop the uh, operation. Hold. He says, oh, you see why I stopped? supplying people with my with my rations on the front line i don't see it as a war <laughs> i have my own people to feed i'm i'm leaving this war but it's for but it's for our own good don't you understand i don't care he gets quite serious as he grumbles in his voice he notices their different voices he remembers them that's endeavor he breaks open the wall just a little bit, crystallizing it, superheating it with uh, the power that he has to crush it and superheat it at the same time, um, creating glass in between them. So he could see clearly it was Endeavor and All Might having a meeting inside of the sauna. My god. Uh, he almost felt like hugging all might i mean he just like sits there just like ah oh, shit choosing between you know killing endeavor or you know being like walking in there and just being like everything will be fine now but that's not how it worked that realistically that's not how this works because he's slapped back to reality when endeavor um picks a fight with all might and actually wins because he he instantly just uppercuts uh, all might and he's like and you won't know anything about it 
and then just throws him to the side. He's like, <laughs> in this reality, I have trained. I have fought every single um, aristocrat, and their powers are based upon their, their IQ. So, <laughs> when I kill them, I gain monsters amounts of, of, um, of HP. Deku looks up to, um, tries to, like, see his level, and it's 85. Something insane to him. He, uh, he, like, calls off the, the, uh, sting operation, as then the next day comes around. All, uh, All Might is, um, still in the dungeon, waiting for something to happen. Deku really wants to bust him out, but he can't just yet. Until Deku just decides, fuck it, and walks up in the middle of, um, right in front of, right, <laughs> I'm sorry, right in front of Endeavor. He kneels down under the floor, Ashen One, and Endeavor just gets up and is like, what is this monster doing here? Gods, but the gods don't do anything. The hell gods! They just turn to him and pull up their spears as Deku says, I'm sorry, but, you know, having eight commanders plotting a revolution against you is not exactly the greatest strategy, especially for that that rules over fear. As Endeavor's like, <laughs> you thought you, just by taking over my gods you could overthrow me? He's like, no, check to your sides. There's knives to his, to, um, to his stomach from the aristocrats around him. He has been infecting the water system with his uh, tiny little aqua babies and basically has controlled every single person on this, on his land. Um, this is sort of, you could say, his revenge in some ways. Endeavor's like, <laughs> You'd think it'd be that easy? Deku's like, No, not really. He's like, good cha good choice. As then he just bursts his whole um, uh, body on fire. As he's like, you just said that you control everybody in this town. So what you're saying is, I cover this whole town in flames and I wouldn't really care. As then he just explodes and like, uh, he um, announces his ninth level spell. Now, I haven't told you much about spells, so I'll fill you in right now. Basically, you can go up to ninth level spells. It's like D&D. Um, those that are level 100 gain the 10th uh, um, level spells, which include basically something like Wish or uh, World Destruction Magic. Uh, ninth level, though, it covers like nations worth. So basically, uh, magic also works with the imagination. Uh, you imagine it and it happens, as long as you have enough power for it. Those with great imagination have great imag um, magic ability. Endeavor just has pure strength on his side, however, and also uh, strategy. After all, he, he, he knew there was something happening in his, in his place, and he knew he would have to make such a harsh decision at a time like this. Everything starts to burn as most of the mind-controlled people are just, like, running around in circles. As it's left with Endeavor just staring down at Deku. However, Deku's like, <sighs> You really thought I didn't come here without a contingency plan? Endeavor's like, What? He looks up, uh, uh Deku points up, as, uh, you know, Deku basically slices the ceiling off with one tentacle, completely toppling the, the ceiling as it rolls off the cliff and destroys a city, um, one of the buildings behind it. And all Endeavor looks up when he sees, all he sees when he looks up is Kraken dawning onto the island, floating above it as it sprays, uh, you know, ink all around. All he can imagine is the destruction and all the, uh, fires being turned out as he huddles down you know covering his head to try to stop himself from being blinded by the ink all he feels is a sharp pain in his stomach however no liquid as he looks up he's then blinded in his eyes by ink by by deku you know endeavor just 
curls ar around away as then he spreads fire with it throughout. However, his body has been covered by ink. Not only that, but combustible ink. Yes, that's right. And Deku, Deku had been prepared for almost everything. And I mean everything. De uh, you know, Endeavor just sets him himself on fire. Um, he starts running around. Uh, Deku um, lets him put himself out. Um, uh, by hopping into the well. As he comes out, um, Deku's like, are you, in, are you broken yet? He's like, but it was right above. As Deku's like, minor illusion. It's quite something, you know? Ah, uh, when you can't infect a population, all you need to do is one man. He's like, what? What? It was right. Uh, he checks down to his stomach as the, the uh, katana that, you know, freaking Deku had shoved into his sternum had still been there. It had been nicked right on the tip of the blade. Probably by a lock. Deku's like, oh yeah. And your friend. He's coming back too. As Endeavor's like, what? <laughs> I am here. As Endeavor just bashes straight through the well. You know, and knees, uh freaking endeavor in the stomach uh taking him all the way down to the ground and lifting up his greatsword before thrusting it down endeavor blasts forward with um all of his power uh as all of the as all of the um he was down to almost 30 hit points uh endeavor as he fires um just a mount i think flamethrower he uses He's, he uses double flamethrowers with both of his hands I'm depleting down his mana um which hits a direct hit on to uh, all might however all might slices through it with his great sword that was given to him by um deku as dick deku just sits back and you know sits in it uh, uh, takes a nice sit in a chair as all the rest of the people come you know giving him stuff as one of them makes a margarita for him you know he gets a nice seat he he, he tidies up his suit after all he has been a long day he rests there as he watches their fight continue. Uh, to say the least, uh, faces are burned, uh, cities are smashed, and uh, fa uh, heads will roll <laughs> as their battle becomes catastrophic for the atmosphere. I mean, they, they, uh, he's uh, freaking Endeavor just causing global warming by himself. And Endeavor, uh, and All Might, every single time that he ever misses, is like causing earthquakes. So, this clash of titans continues on for a few hours, until finally, um, Endeavor, uh, runs out of MP. Endeavor had a special, um, skill, called Emperor's Might. Emperor's Might doesn't, uh, uh, overrides, uh, you know, mind control abilities. Now that he's out of MP, that skill is unactive. All Might slices down with all of his force and slices through Endeavor's left hand um, completely all the way down to his arm, uh, making almost just a stump there. Although not fully, as his hand, his arm is just split in half. Endeavor shri just shrieks out in pain as All Might's like, Give up, Endeavor. It's over. You've gone too far. You will go to jail, and you will accept your sentence. Endeavor's like, <sighs> <sighs> Never! As, you know, he comes back with, um, flame burst with the right hand, catching all might off guard. As Deku just comes in and slices off, uh, the, the, both arms of Endeavor, uh, with a hand scythe made from tentacles. The power of that tentacle dwarfed that of All Might's uh, vertical swing, which was just a normal attack from him. So basically, one of Deku's like long-range sniping abilities, used only as one of his final moves, was enough to like impress Inde uh, All for One, All Might. And that's on a guy that has 250. Do you understand how power? Okay, I'm getting too much into this. Um. 
Deku's like, you're way too trusting, Endeavor. I mean, All Might. You always have been. All Might's like, thank you, but what do you... Deku just like, uh, like, just like a gigantic tentacle starts to come down on Endeavor. However, uh, All Might pleads with Deku to, to let him live. Deku says, fine. I will allow him to live. However, the the like little little babies that had uh, invested the town, he was not exempt from that fact of drinking the water. So, Endeavor starts to rise back up as All Might pulls out his greatsword once more. However, Endeavor just stands there, zombie-like, staring at Deku and All Might. He's like, he'll serve me. For now. Uh, um, it's like, okay. Uh, how can I say that I trust you, monster? First of all, don't call me monster ever again. Call me what you always have been calling me. All Might whispers under his breath. The nightmare. He finally realizes it. The correlation between the events. Impossible. Deku walks away asking Endeavor to tell him the where the uh, soul of the tree what has been hid. Endeavor points towards the broken well. Deku jumps down. As all of the all of the, you know, tiny little squidlings come out from all of the people. They all rush towards the well in this sort of demonic, you know, like, creepy pasta way. Although, Deku bit his, his lip and his tongue at the same time, trying to not say Deku. He really... He really needed to say that. But... Not now. Not right now. He needs just one more place one more time he swims throughout the well out the well going at high speeds underneath finding the sewage system and then finding the secret cellar in there all three men are instantly taken out by um by the endeavor who had told him where everybody was he gets to the lock his endeavor instant uh, just shoves his his hand in and unlocks it using magic his fire magic Deku then walks into this golden room, covered in shillings, his treasury. In the middle, the egg. Deku picks it up. It's super heavy as it flies him straight to the floor. He nervously laughs as he tells um, Endeavor to, you know, pick it up for him. As Endeavor picks it up easily, he's like, ah, having a level 85 is pretty nice as a henchman. <laughs> And um, Deku just walks out of there, you know, with Endeavor behind him, holding, holding the, the golden egg without any arms, um, using fire, actually, as Deku now, Deku's intelligence now expands to um, Endeavor. So Endeavor now has about as much power as he had before. However, his, uh, his hands will always be destroyed. That's the biggest problem with mind-controlling people, is that, like, Basically, they it's not like they're going to be revived or anything. Like His arms are still destroyed, so his power has basically been halved. However, it, it, that still keeps him around level 50. That's still insane. Um, he can still use his magic and stuff, so he's still super powerful. He just doesn't look like it anymore. Um, he carries around using fire magic to make fake arms. Um... Deku then walks into the city as it all starts bustling again. Everybody tries to pick up after all of this, wondering what had happened. Deku makes an announcement telling them all that um, the mermaids are returning to the surface. And that they will have to, um, you know, either trade with them or, you know, have to go with war with them. They're like, okay, well, that's pretty clear cut. All the, all the ambassadors, of course, also under his control saying yes we will we will support this we will support you know peace please <laughs> he's like good 
and continu- and walks off into the sea, soaring off on the on the kraken, uh, the head of the kraken. Endeavor just you know saying goodbye, I guess. Uh, Deku makes his way back to the um, to the ever tree. He, um, as he climbs his way up, um, sticking tendrils into the into the tree, trying to um, cleave his way up. However, halfway through, he he realized that, well, with one jump, he then converts some of his intelligence points to speed and jumps up as fast as he can and ra- ra- wraps his tentacles around some of the branches and uh, just basically shock puts himself all the way up to the top. Almost hits his head on some of the branches. He does a somersault and then lands on his head, on his feet, picking his head back up to meet the eyes of the weathered-looking ever tree. Mother, you look well, not as good as before. I, I wouldn't want you to insult you, my son. Please, in my head, as she po- uh, as like a as like a weak little branch points up to her her head the top of it a hole big as as big as the as the soul egg he climbs up to the top of her face and uh well no not even i mean he can he can he extends out one of his tentacles and picks it all the way up to the um and shoves it into her head <sighs> oh as you know he's like whoa that's a lot of energy as she she's just like oh my god you know like this huge like aura expands out to the world this green light is seen by everybody as finally the the tree has been reborn she leans down to meet the, the eyes of her son saying i'm so proud of you you've done it You've survived. Thank you, my son. Thank you.